Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to do a Blender video. This is uh, video number two in a series. In the first one we talked about the navigation and so forth. In this video we're going to get you started modeling. All right, here we go. Okay, everybody, so as you can see, we're in Blender. We're in Blender 2.831 to be exact. But if you got any version uh, 2.8 or later, you should be fine. Now, last week I did a video, which is basically a first introduction ever for non-Blender users uh, to get you familiar with the interface. So how do you navigate around? What are the different windows and what are they for, right? And we talked a little bit about, you know, scaling and rotating and that kind of stuff. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to get started with modeling. It's going to be extremely simple, extremely basic. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm you guys. We're going to go in a slow and steady pace, right? Now that said, uh, before we jump into the modeling, a quick recap of last week's video. So how do we move around here? Well, if you hold down your shift key and you click on your middle mouse, you can pan, right? If you do not hold down your shift key and hold on your middle mouse, you can rotate around like this. And with your scroll wheel, you can move in and move out like so, okay? Now, let's say you want to, um, I don't know, skill, right? You select your cube and you hit S for skill. And by pulling on your mouse, moving it on your desk, you see that it becomes bigger and smaller and then you click, right? So that's skill. Now let's hit R on a keyboard and that will allow us to rotate like so. And we'll click to stop. Let's say you wanna move it around. Well, for move, you hit G for grab, right? So you hit G and now you can move it around and click wherever you want it. And there you go. Now I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back to our starting point. So that's basically a recap of last week. And now we're gonna talk about getting started with modeling. Now, in order for you to model, you need to go into the modeling mode. Now, right now you're up here in object mode and you can go in here and you can go into sculpt mode, edit mode and so forth. What we want is edit mode. So you can go in here and click on that, but it's easier to do the shortcut and the shortcut for that is the tab key, T-A-B, right? So we're gonna hit the tab key. And when we do that, you see that the look of the cube changes. We, it's now looking a bit orange. You see the vertices, but you also see a whole different menu on the left, right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of these and look at them and see what they can do. Not all of them, just the basics to get started. So which ones are important? Well, first of all, how do you duplicate an object? Well, we've got the cube right here. It's selected. We're in the selection path right there. It's selected. What you do is you hit Shift D, the duplicate. Move your mouse around and boom, there you go, a copy. We can do it again, Shift D and so forth and so on. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back, Control Z, we're at our starting point. So that's how you duplicate. Now, how do you bevel? Now, if you look at the left menu over here, you see all of these functions and you also see the shortcut when you open it. So here's the bevel option. And when we click on that, you get this little controller thingy, yeah? And as we move that, you see it's now beveling everything because of the selection up here, right? So we're gonna go back and I'll, explain that. So we're in vertex mode. Here you got edge mode and here you got face mode. So if we go to edge mode and select one individual edge like so, and we then go into bevel, there you go. Now, once you are happy with that position, right, you can go down here to this little menu, open that up, and you can go in and change the offset. Or you can, for example, go in and change the segments. Pretty easy, right? Okay. So once again, the bevel option is right here. And if you open this up, you see that it says Control B as a shortcut. Okay, cool. So what else? Insert loop cut, kind of important. Now that's the next one right here. And it's um, the, uh, the shortcut is Control R, right? When you click on that, you have the option to go in and based on the position of your mouse, you see it will go here or here. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's kind of limited because what if I want more and so forth, but it's kind of the same situation that we had with bevel. 
So let's say I want it to be right here. When I click on that, right, and I position it, you see that I get this menu down here. I can now go in, left mouse, and move to increase or decrease the number of loop cuts that I want, right? You got some other options here as well, but like I said, we're going to keep it fairly simple. So that's how you insert a loop cut, right? So the next one we're going to look at is extrude. Now looking at this menu on the left hand side here, based on the graphics that's displayed here, you can kind of see what it will do. In this case, you see a cube with an extended piece on top, and that is the extrude option, right? Now the shortcut is shift E, right? So we're going to go in here, make sure we're in face mode and we're going to select one of these. Yeah and we're going to click on extrude or use the shortcut based on what you want and we're going to pull that up and as i let go i can do it again and i can do it again and i can do it again i can take one in the front here i can take one here pull that out pull that out and just keep on going based on what i want right now as before and as i explained in the last video if you want to extrude over a certain path line, like a coordinate, like X, Y, and Z, you can do that by holding X, Y, and Z, right? So that's how you extrude. Now, okay, and then finally, how do you move uh, vertices, edges, and faces? Now, let me just uh, start clean. Okay, so once again, we're in edit mode. Let's say I want to move a vertex. Uh, pretty straightforward. We're going to go to vertex mode. We're going to select one of the vertices. We're going to hit a G for grab. We can move it around and position it right there. Let's say I want to do the same with an edge. I'll click on an edge. I'll hit a G to grab. I can move it around, place it right there. And let's say I want to move around a face, click on one of the faces, hit G to move, and there you go. So what we covered is how to duplicate, how to bevel, insert loop cuts, how to move faces, vertices, and edges, how to extrude, and we covered the initial navigation, you know, as a repeat for last video, right? So hopefully that will help you to get started modeling, maybe doing something simple like a table or whatnot. And then in the next Blender video, we're gonna go into a little bit more detail, right? So let me know what you think. Let me know if this kind of video was helpful. Uh, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you don't wanna miss out on future videos, please subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.